Welcome to the Gold Lactation Online Conference for 2014. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC and Public Relations Coordinator for Gold Conferences. Welcome to our preview interview with Dr. Gangal. He's going to be presenting Breast Crawl from Science to Implementation with Dr. Bagat. Welcome, Dr. Gangal. How are you today? Oh, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Tell me. Good. Good. Can you tell me a little bit more about your work and why is it so important for you to be involved in this type of work? Uh, I'm a practicing pediatrician and I'm also attached to a maternity home. So I work with mothers and babies day in and out. And what I do in terms of breastfeeding nutrition in general is helpful to my patients, mothers and babies and therefore it improves uh, their health and therefore it is very important for me to get involved in this work, this kind of work. Second thing, what experience I gain from my personal practice, I can transfer it to my colleagues, to mother support counselors and this spreads like a wave. So if I am talking about breast cross day in and day out and practicing it, so many other health professionals also learn about it, mother support counselors learn about it. And the third thing why I do it is my passion to work with mother and babies and to work in the field of uh, infant and young child nutrition. And that is the inspiration I get. So uh, I also work to satisfy my inspiration. <laughs> well, it is very inspiring and I'm certainly looking forward to hearing your full presentation. Um, so can you tell our delegates out there what is it that they will learn from your presentation? Uh, what uh, I want to uh, convey to the audience will be uh, the exact uh, details of breast crawl at the basic level which they should know in order that they, they can help mothers in their own personal practice. Number two objective would be to uh, get them familiar with the science of breast crawl. Quite a few times understanding the science helps us to put our practices in a better perspective. Uh, Dr. Bhagat after me would be talking on how to implement it actually in private practice and what are the hazards that will be faced uh, when you try to implement it. And uh, the third thing is that uh, neurology has taken giant leaps in next last about 10 to 20 years. So uh, when the breast call actually occurs, what exactly must be going on in baby's brain? So I would like to shed some light upon this aspect of breast crawl. That what are the changes that occur in baby's brain, which now the new science, the now new neuroscience uh, helps us to understand. So these are the three objectives with which I'll be going to the audience. Well, that sounds fascinating. I'm very excited to hear some more of what is happening in our babies' brains because we know that this affects them long term. So finally, could you tell me a little bit of what you have seen yourself um, when this is applied in practice? What are the benefits that you're seeing from these mothers and babies? Uh, the first benefit I see that when I take the baby soon after birth to the mother, that smile which appears on mother's face and the satisfaction uh, when she kisses her baby for the first time, that satisfaction is, itself gives me satisfaction. Yes, I am doing good work. Uh, secondly, it definitely helps in correct initiation. Uh, initiation as defined by a 10 step successful breastfeeding. And obviously when breast crawl occurs well, it uh, sets ball rolling to establish lactation successfully. And early establishment of lactation and successful establishment of lactation finally leads to uh, exclusive breastfeeding for six months and continued breastfeeding thereafter, uh, giving the advantages of appropriate nutrition and of course the health benefits of breastfeeding in terms of uh, reduction of mortality and reduction of diseases. So uh, benefit to the mothers, benefit to the babies and personal satisfaction that I am giving best to my, uh, I won't call mothers as patients, giving best to mothers and babies. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Gangel. That's just been wonderful chatting with you. And like I said, I'm looking forward to hearing your talk uh, with Dr. Bagat, uh, Breath Crawl from Science to Implementation. Well, thank you again. Uh, we have run out of time for today, and we thank everybody for listening in for our preview of the presentation. Thank you again. Bye-bye.